like castles? Do you like video games about building castles? Well then I've got the perfect game for you! That's right! 3D Castle created for the PC! It's starting that creepy jester guy, so... It's got good, right? 3D Castle Creator was published by IBM of all companies, and developed by a company called Gravity in 1998. And you'll see why this company name is so ironic later on. And it was sponsored by Crayola. Now, I don't know what castles in Crayola have to do with anything, but I don't know, maybe all the castles are built out of Ron and Kranz. Heh, <laughs> wouldn't that be something? Now, I remember this being one of my favorite games when I was a kid. I mean, it ranked right up there with LEGO Racers and Pajama Sam 1. And for some reason, this game doesn't like Windows 7 64-bit, so for this review I'll be using my recently acquired Detail computer from 1999 running Windows 98 2nd Edition. Now this thing was a pain in the ass to hook up so I could record the screen. See, old PCs like this one are too slow to handle any video recording software while playing games, so you have to rely on external video converters like this PC to video component converter. I hooked it up to the PC, monitor, then to my DVD recorder, then to one of my TVs and recorded it. The quality is definitely not the best, but it does a decent job for what it is. So after going through a pretty typical installation process that requires 16-bit colors, it's time to launch the game. At last, you've come. You are a castle builder, aren't you? Don't worry, you will be soon. You are a aren't you? Oh. Oh, now I see why Crayola was a part of this game. It was all for the product placement. Don't worry, guys. I'm sure thousands of kids brought a crap ton of Crayola products after playing this game. You see, we need a new castle in the worst way. Not that the old one's so bad. It's just, um, old. Is that the castle you're talking about? Because if it is, you guys did an amazing job. Oh yeah, there's no question at all that that castle will hold up after thousands of battles. Dude, good job, guys. Yeah, yeah, you, you did a great job. G -g great job, guys! So then the jester jumps into the world and... <laughs> I don't know why, but this animation of him shooting down is just funny. When I was a kid, I thought this intro was the greatest intro ever. And I watched it so many times that I can still remember everything that the jester says. So, so what, what we, we needed need most was... A good, strong castle. And beautiful, too. Don't, don't forget, forget to make, make it beautiful. beautiful. After you give yourself a name, you are introduced into the building interface. And it actually works pretty well. Pick a piece and place it into the world. And then from there, you can rotate it or destroy it with lightning. You can use these arrows to change the camera around, and these tabs to switch between castle styles. You've also got a bunch of color options, but a lot of them seem unnecessary. But don't press that bomb button, or this might happen. But before we build a new castle, let's take a look at some of my previous masterpieces. What the hell is this one? It's just walls! Oh wait, I remember now! I attempted to make a car! Yes, a car! With no way to get inside because it's taller than the Berlin Wall! Hmm, well I guess on this day I felt like making Fountain World... It's the giant used fountain tent sail in the middle of the sky! Up to 50 identical fountains that don't animate! That's, That's right. right! 50 fountains that don't, don't move! move. All with low-rest textures! Sale starts on Friday, June 6, 2066! Parking and admission are only $6.66! Come on, come on! Three days only! All 50, 50 fountains must, must be sold. sold! It's the giant used fountain tent sale! Buy one or go, go to hell! Okay, now here's an actual castle, but why is it colored like this? It's hideous! Who the hell paints a castle zebra stripes? And what's this color? Cow skin? Alright now, let's build a new castle. Let's put a moat here... Put whatever the heck this piece is... How about a giant thing? A uh, bunch of fountains, because we need to make a trippy to Fountain World. Uh, crafts Hall, because... Product placement! Well, this piece has to be important because it's on a giant hill. Alright, she's looking pretty good, but it needs something else. That needs some rainbow colors. No, wait! Zebra stripes. Yes. The ground needs some of that, too. Okay, that sounds like a sound that the jester would make when you touch him inappropriately. Now comes the coolest part of the game, exploring the ins and outs of every castle piece. This for me was the best part of the game. Making castles was cool and all, but actually exploring them was the reason why I played this game so much. But if you take a look outside, you can witness the beautiful moat that you can see the sky through. And just like the high quality used fountains, the water doesn't even move. The game designers also put invisible walls around each piece, so you can't drown in the two feet of water. Oh god! 
Look at the trees! They look like they were made out of the most basic shapes and colors! You can even walk right through them! Forget the game designers of LEGO Racers 2 being lazy. No, no, no. Gravity takes laziness to a whole new level in this game. Hey guys, reality check. This was not 1992 where 3D games looked like this. This was 1998! It's as if all of us were running in the 90s except for Gravity who was stuck in a puddle of glue. Well, here's the garden, and at least the trees actually look like trees. But it seems like you can walk right through the plants as well. Yay. Let's check out this building. So, we got some hay, and holy crap, you can actually walk on it. So apparently I can walk right through a tree, but not a pile of hay. If it isn't obvious while watching me play this, the controls are kind of awkward. You use these buttons to move forward and back, and these buttons to control the camera. Luckily, you can use the arrow keys to move, but you can't use the mouse at all like you would in a normal first-person perspective game. And the WASD keys? Well, forget about them. They're not used at all either. I guess because kids can easily find the arrow keys. Walking around and looking at the world isn't the worst experience ever, but it's kind of sluggish and it doesn't feel natural. Many buildings have spiraling stairs and many rooms, but most of the time there isn't anyone in the rooms and there's no interactable objects. Although most of the buildings do have somebody inside if you keep looking around long enough. Here I found the queen. What can she do? Is she just gonna keep her back turned? Okay, what happens if I nudge her? Oh no, this is bad, this is bad. But to be serious, nudging somebody makes them talk. The lady in waiting ought to learn about the affairs of the castle. Okay, okay, yeah, keep talking, lady. Don't worry, I'm listening. Is heating water for my bath. Wait, you're gonna take a bath? Okay, well, maybe I'll stay here. If you know what I mean. Here we have the room with the king, who seems to be counting things. And I think this guy's the next big YouTube poop source. I, yeah, I, yeah, I am Zeus Frederick Malam Malam. His face looks really messed up if you look at it at a certain angle. And what the heck is wrong with his eyes? They look evil. Inside the largest building, we have this guy who sings songs. I sing of the knight who has no nose, to all the stinkiest bogs he goes. And we also have the king's throne, which is strangely unguarded. Hmm, what happens if I sit on it? Oh crap, not again! What's in this door? What the heck? This is the same room as before, only it's painted a different color. Literally, there's no other difference. Seriously, why did they get lazy and copy and paste to the same room? All they did was change the color from drab gray to poopy brown. I bet those game designers were probably like, eh, most kids don't know the difference between drab gray and poopy brown. They'll probably never notice. Also, the king is gone. Did they forget to add him in? Or did he and the queen have some huge fight? Frederick, you need to quit hoarding gold. Catherine, have you ever heard of the stock market? The stock market doesn't exist yet, you idiot. What's that supposed to mean? It means you need to get rid of all this junk or move out. Don't you give me that look. Wipe that look off your face, you Laura, the lovely lady-in-waiting, is very patiently awaiting the day she will marry. Laura? More like Princess Leia. Oh hey, it's a dog. And I can't believe it actually looks like a dog. But why doesn't he stop panting? Seriously. Stop panting. STOP PANTING OR I WILL RIP YOUR- Timmy. Timmy, are you down there? Timmy. Well, nice knowing you, Timmy. I'm Peter the Proud Page. And if anyone remarks about my paunch, tell me, they'll be plenty sorry. Paunch? Paunch. Little kid, you have not seen a paunch until you've witnessed Captain Falcon's Falcon Punch. Now here's that building with the hill. Well, if it has a huge hill like this, whatever inside must be really epic. Oh, it's you again. No, 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 I don't want to hear it again. Nope. Ooh, a horse. But why is he blocking the door? Seriously, I can't get him to move. I can get to the other side, but he won't let me in. Why would they put a horse right in front of the door? That would be like if in Super Mario 64, if Mario couldn't enter the main castle doors because Toad's big ass mushroom head was blocking the path. Then the entire game would turn into Super Toad 64, and they made a bunch of sequels, and let's see what else is around here. Oh my. 
Oh my god, they did it! Gravity just broke the law of gravity! Holy crap! Yo, Gravity. You should have changed your name to Jacked Up Gravity because there's barely any gravity in the gameplay. In the intro, you can see the Jester flying down at a rapid pace. I want to do that. Why do I slowly float down? How come I am the one who takes 11 damn seconds to reach the ground? You know, I think I finally understand that Elton John song. He's the Rocket Man, and it's gonna be a long, slow ass time till I reach the Earth's surface, or should I say, the green slab with no textures. But how about we take advantage of this gameplay flaw and make a parkour course out of it? So overall, I'd say the castle building and exploring is fun, but there's no objectives or anything to accomplish. There's no one outside, no battles taking place, and no landlords knocking on my door to complain about my hideous color choices. And once you've built a few castles and explored all the rooms, then that's really it. Nothing else is left to do, but maybe they can fix that in 3D Castle Creator version 4.0.2 Hyper Objective Turbo Edition. But if castle building gets boring for you, you can just be a snooping asshole and read everyone's diary. Why is the queen saying that? She should be saying, Wipe that Look off your face. Also, you can make the achievement theme. So that's pretty much 3D Castle Creator. It's a decent game with really aged graphics and small doses of gameplay, but if you played it as a kid or you're interested in these types of games, then I'd say it's worth a look. Just don't expect any more than this. Until we meet again. Hey, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button and share this with your friends. And maybe you subscribe, but I don't know. Or if you want to treat yourself to some more Forgotten Games, my last two episodes are right here. More Forgotten Games are coming soon.